It is time for your weekly announcements from Faith Reform Church. It is Thursday, May 7th. Pastor Zach and I will be tag-teaming the announcements today, so he'll have a few announcements about the Zoom Bible study and a couple other things, too. And as always, if you have anything to add to the announcements, please message me by noon on Thursday. The Food Pantry is a week from today, Thursday, May 14th. If you'd like to help with distribution, please message Debbie because they're still looking for a couple more people. High schoolers, if you're feeling cooped up, this would be a good opportunity to serve and to hang out with a friend while you're doing it. But we're still looking for a few people. I know last week I mentioned that Carol DeRyder was looking for people to help out with the box meals. She has all of the help she needs. So thanks to the congregation for stepping up with that. But if you'd like to still help with the distribution, please contact Debbie. And I know last Friday to the younger Sunday school students, I emailed out something, this was on May 1st, about either writing letters or coloring pictures for the people who attend the food pantry. So if you'd like to do that to encourage the people who go to the food pantry, please either drop those off in the bin with the Sunday school guides by the West doors, either do that by Sunday, or you can mail them to me, either do that on Friday or Saturday. Just as long as I get all those things by next Thursday, we can make sure that they get to the people from the food pantry. And as always, if you know anyone who needs help, please let them know that the food pantry is on Thursday, May 14th from 4.30 to 6.30. Shelly has an update for the masks for healthcare workers. We have broken four digits. We are over 1,000 masks made and distributed. So that's a great accomplishment. She says that they've been given to healthcare systems, schools, church and community members, nursing homes and assisted livings, businesses, and a whole bunch of other places. So that's, that's awesome news. And she also says that some ladies have been making headbands or hats. If you'd like to donate, the items that are in need are pipe cleaners, quarter inch elastic strips, material, buttons. She says the larger the better. I'm not sure what all these things are for, but Shelly does. So if you'd like to donate any of those things, please contact her at 920-980-3718. And for the youth, for grades 7 through 12, we are still doing Zoom Sunday School lessons at 10 a.m. on Saturday, so watch for those links. For the younger grades, we will continue to send out material until the weekend of May 17th. Memory work, it is still very important. So if you would like to earn a king size candy bar for reciting your memory work, you can do that to me over Zoom. So parents, you can message me, set up a time for your kids to do their memory work over Zoom and they will win a king size candy bar. For baccalaureate, we're still hoping to do that May 31st at Calvary. We shall see if that happens or not. And other than that, youth group activities are in a bit of a lull right now. We are praying that we can meet as soon as possible, but in the meantime, I will continue to reach out to them over Zoom. And small group leaders, if you have a chance to reach out to your group as well, that'd be great. And for everyone, just remember to keep the youth in your prayers and also the college students who are going through finals right now, keep them all in your prayers during this time. The deacons wanted to say that things are going well financially, but they always want to keep it in front of you that if you'd like to give to Faith Reform Church during this time, you can find information of how to do that on the updates tab. Or if you'd like to give to the Benevolence Fund, which has recently been formed to help people in need, check out the instructions of how to do that in your bulletin. Also, your care elders and deacons, they will be making additional phone calls to the congregation. They'll make another round. So if you have any questions about the Benevolence Fund or any of those things, you could ask during those calls. But in the meantime, if anything comes up, Always remember to give your care elder or deacon a call. And on that note, I will pass the baton to Pastor Zach. Well, hello, Faith Church. Just a couple extra announcements as we close them out for the night. Uh, one, some have asked about the video from Bible study on Monday. I do apologize. I did have another error in recording. It's my fault. Um, we'll make sure that we have the video available for this coming Monday, but we don't have it for this past Monday. If you want the handout and don't have that, I can email it to you. Um, just let me know. Send, send me an email, shoot me a text. I'll be happy to send that out to you. For this coming Monday, we are going to be going through Colossians 1, 
verses 9 through 14. So by all means, uh, begin reading that, thinking about that, looking at the parts of the prayer, and we'll dig into that uh, together. And also, no matter who you are, uh, whether you want to, to tune in to the Bible study as a family, or if you're a high schooler or a middle schooler and want to tune in, uh, it is open to anybody. You can watch and everybody is muted, and unless you're going to speak into something or answer a question, you'll remain muted until then. So by all means, tune in. I'd be happy to have anybody who would like to sign on and be part of that. Uh, and then as you may know, today is the National Day of Prayer. Uh, there are some things that were sent to you through a newsletter yesterday about some opportunities tonight of being part of that and what's being done in the community. Uh, we're not doing anything ourselves as a church, but I would even now like to pray, uh, pray for our nation, pray for our world, especially in light of everything that is happening. Uh, it is a good occasion to pray in light of it being the National Day of Prayer. And though we should pray every day, sometimes it's good to focus our intention together uh, with other believers throughout our country to seek our Father together. So let's go ahead and pray now. Heavenly Father, as we come to you, we are so thankful that we can come to you as our Father, as our good and gracious Father who sent forth your Son in the fullness of time to live a life that we could never live for ourselves and to die the death that we deserve that we could be made right with you and have access into your very throne room. And so we now, we now come. We ask that you would be with our country, that you would be with our leaders. Give us wisdom as the economy in different states and throughout the country starts to start to open up. Help this to happen well. Help us to have a unity as churches. Give us a deeper passion for your word and a commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ and unify us in that commitment. And we do pray, Lord, that you would renew churches throughout our country that you would revive sinners and bring people to genuine faith in your Son, and that this would be a year where your Spirit is poured out all over our land and the glory of our Savior would fill the earth. Father, we look forward to the day that we see you face to face, and we look forward to the day that we see one another even face to face. Until uh, that happens, would you continue to strengthen us by your Spirit through your Word and unite our hearts in Christ. For we pray all these things in his name. Amen.